And so I'm going to start my story off by talking about scouting in the beginning. So I began in PAC 197, uh, Den 3. As you see, there's a picture of me from a couple years back. Um, <laughs> I went from uh, third to fifth grade at Westminster as a uh, scout, but then I also left because I didn't realize how much the scouting had to offer. And so I came back to scouting uh, in freshman year. I've been back in scouting for uh, three years. I'm a troop guide. I've had the, the rank of troop guide. I've been assistant patrol leader, and now I'm a junior assistant scoutmaster in the troop. And I plan on staying involved in the troop as much as possible, or as long as possible. One of the things that scouting really gives you is friends for life. Now, this is a very interesting picture. I'll tell the story behind it. So when I came back to scouting in freshman year, I was, I'm not doing this alone, is what I told myself. So I took one of my friends, Omari, and sucked him up and told him to come do scouting with me. So now if you look at this raft, and you look at the front left, the person leaning over with the paddle screaming, that's Omari. <laughs> I am to the right of Omari. And so this was one of our favorite campouts. Uh, it's a whitewater rafting campout, and we go on it every year. Even now, we try to, uh, if our schedule's free, we try to go on it. And so uh, a reason why I chose this picture is that it's very, it sparks curiosity. And so I'm going to answer all your questions with this picture here. <laughs> and so we still, have this, we still have this discussion, and we still argue about whose fault this was. It's not mine, because I leaned in as much as I could. Omari leaned in as much as he could. It may have been one of the other two scouts in the back. But the interesting part about this is that our raft guide, uh, she was the only person that stayed in. And she sat higher than everyone else did on the raft. And so she just parked the raft and waited for us all to float down and get back in. <laughs>